What is going on y'all? My name is Gravely and today I'm going to be showing y'all how you can solo any Lost Sector in under 3 minutes as a Titan. Now what's really nice about the Titan is that you don't really need any elaborate setups at all. All you really need to do is be using top tree sentinel so you can get the ward of dawn in those health regen melee kills. This is going to be huge in doing these lost sectors. Now if you do have it, I highly recommend equipping helm of saint 14 with the ward of dawn because the helm of saint 14 is going to blind anybody that goes in your bubble and it's also going to give you an overshield outside of the bubble, not just inside the bubble. I'm going to say this in every single video that involves champions, you need to have your anti-champion mods equipped, otherwise you can't do the Lost Sector at all, you will get absolutely destroyed. Now if you don't have access to any of these anti-champion mods, what you are going to want to do is go down to your artifact right here and grab them from here. If you've already used everything in your artifact, don't be afraid to reset it, it's not going to affect your level and once it's reset you can grab any of these. Now as for the weapons, they really don't actually matter. As long as you are using weapons that match with your gauntlets and are able to take out champions, you will be absolutely fine. Now in the heavy slot, it actually does matter what you use. I would highly recommend using the Falling Guillotine or the Lament. Some Lost Sectors, Xenophage is also a great option, especially when there are bosses that like float or anything and you can't get up to them with the sword. So Falling Guillotine, the Lament, or Xenophage is probably your best bet for your heavy slot. Real quick, I just want to point out that if you do have Whirlwind Blade on your Falling Guillotine, you can take out a barrier champion before it even puts up its barrier, which means you really don't need an anti-barrier weapon, but it is still nice to have. Now with that being said, I'm going to be using the Arbalest, the Royal Chase, and the Falling Guillotine just to prove that you don't need an anti-barrier weapon. Now if you are just planning on completing the Lost Sector and you really don't care about the overall speed, then you could just use an anti-barrier weapon, it's not going to be a big deal. But I'm using this little right here for speed. I need to get under 3 minutes and I'm going to show y'all that right now. One thing I almost forgot to say is that you need to make sure that you are checking which champions are in each Lost Sector every single day because they change sometimes and sometimes there's unstoppable champions and you're going to need an unstoppable mod to take them out. Now I'm going to hop into Exodus Garden 2A and speedrun it for y'all.
So as y'all can see, I take out the boss at around the three minute and four second mark. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was just a little bit salty about this because had I had just put up my intellect a little bit higher, I would have had my Titan bubble as soon as I got to the boss room and I would have been able to take him out in about two minutes and 50 seconds. But nonetheless, still a pretty solid run. We get an exotic crusty alpha loop eye just like that. Hey, and that's a free exotic. Farming this is going to give you free exotics that you don't have. There's no point of not doing these lost sectors. There are just some of my other lost sector completions. Like I said, it's not too hard to get under three minutes. But anyways, if this did help you out, make sure I leave a like and make sure I leave a comment. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.